Mark here at Whiskey Whistle. The Macallan 18 year old, perhaps the most coveted 18 year old single malt scotch whiskey in the world and one of the best selling. Should this be your next purchase? Stay tuned for the Mac 18 Whiskey Whistle. Hey folks, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle, your wise choice in independent whiskey and spirits reviews. Bringing you whiskey review number 244, finally on the channel, Macallan 18 year old Speyside single malt scotch whiskey. Let's get this poured. Now this is probably my third crack at trying to review this, so let's make this one count, shall we? I've got my Macallan Glencairn glass at the ready, so let's get it poured. What a color it's got. Now on the show today, we'll talk about the color of the whiskey. We'll have a look at the legs of Macallan 18. Then we'll talk about the nose, the palate, and the finish, and give it a Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score at the end of the show. So make sure you stay tuned right till then. Now if it's your first time watching Whiskey Whistle, thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to click the little icon right over here to subscribe. And for everybody watching, leave a comment and tell me what you think of the Macallan 18 year old. Now this is the 2016 release by the way. So there's also the 2017 and of course uh, the previous editions. Each year it'll have uh, the edition. Now they moved away from vintages. So it's no longer a vintage. It's now just simply called the 2016 release, annual 2016 release. Now, if you don't know much about the Macallan 18 year old, well, this is 100% ex sherry cask matured. These are very expensive casks. These are all European oak, so that's quite a bit more expensive and a little bit more, apparently, a little bit more time intensive, labor intensive than uh, their American oak counterparts. All right, so if you're wondering why it's expensive, that's one factor. Okay, well, let's move into the color, shall we? So the Macallan 18, sherry matured. Now, what color do you see there? To my eyes, that's pretty near mahogany, just one step below a very darkly polished oak, something kind of like you would see in uh, uh, very old churches, beautiful color, and it's all natural, isn't that great? The whiskey, by the way, I forgot to mention, it's 43% ABV. So a little bit of a step up from the uh, typical 40%. The 12 year old Macallan Sherry Matured is also 40%, 43%. So you're getting a little bit more value there as well. Let's check out the legs of Macallan 18. Okay, label forward. Medium speed, but boy, they hang there nicely. And look at how long and drizzly they are. Now we can see the secondary drizzle, as I like to call it, just beginning. Quite a beautiful show, long lasting. So hopefully we can expect something very thick and rich in the mouth. All right, well, let's get on to the nosing now, shall we? I can already smell it. It's got quite a nice bouquet. Now, first of all, you'll get some very rich raisins, uh, like a fresh bag of golden, dried golden raisins. Very nice. I also get some prune. Again, the smell of a, the, a fresh bag of prunes when you open them. It's also got some nice candy, kind of like... Um, uh, gummy worms. Uh, I quite like that and I find that is a, a theme, uh, a theme here with the Macallan Sherry Matured. And uh, from my notes, this is quite funny. Gummy worms with that oil they put on it so as not to stick. All right, well, fresh golden raisins, prunes, polished oak, a bit of leather. There's puffs of smoke here too. There's a little bit of peat in Macallan. Yes, there is. Uh, there's some cinnamon here, ginger, a little bit of nutmeg, not much. I wish there were more. Uh, tiramisu, uh, some fresh anise, and some five spice. Mm -hmm. It's quite a delight to smell. Overall, the nose of MAC-18, it's excellent, and it's a definite upgrade over the 12-year-old. Okay, well, let's get on to the palate, shall we? Cheers. 
Hmm. Now, it's got a really nice sweet and sour balance, which is great. The mouthfeel, pretty good. A little bit on the thin side. I wish it were thicker. It's also slightly dry. Lots of warmth to it, too. You get a lot of stewed fruits here. And I wrote here, strawberry, raspberry, jam. And when you hang on to that in your mouth for quite a long time, you get a sense of that very old oak. Something kind of like, I wrote here, a musty church. And uh, again, that smell when you walk into an old church, the very warm, a um, very inviting scent, to, uh, at least to my nose. Now again, from my notes here, I write that the mouthfeel is a little bit thin. However, the flavors are good. You also get some hazelnuts and uh, a bit of a peppery type of a flavor and also f a mouthfeel. So overall, sweet and sour, slightly dry, stewed fruits, peppery, a hint of nuts. Mm-hmm. All right, on to the finish. The finish is very long, raisins and toffee. There's also puffs of smoke coming through in the finish. Very nice. Okay, well let's add a bit of water. We'll go with just a little bit less than a full spoonful. That's about one milliliter. And we'll stir it about, mix it up. Okay, Macallan 18, the nose with water. A little bit more spice shows up. It's a little bit peppery. Still got the cinnamon, the nutmeg. Maybe a hint of ginger coming through there now. Now you also get a hint of sulfur. This is actually the first time I really noticed that scent but to me it actually enhances the experience and adds something special to the nose. All right, the palette then with water, Macallan 18, cheers everyone. It's also a bit spicier on the palate. And I write that apricots appear, the, the taste of apricots, hints of licorice, and soft peaty wafts come through in the palate as well. The finish. Hmm. By the way, the palate's also much drier with water. So if you prefer less dry whiskey, then don't add water to it. The finish also is much drier. It's actually a bit nuttier. And lengthwise, well, it's the same length. It's a very long finish. So that's my tasting notes. Now let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for the Macallan 18, shall we? What's that going to be? The Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score from Macallan 18 is going to be 86 out of 100. Yes, 86 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for the Macallan 18. All right, now, for those of you who've been watching for a while, you'll know that this is actually a one point downgrade from the 12 year old. Now, I write here, it's more complex. Uh, it's got more flavor. It's got a little bit more to offer on the palate. But I wrote here that it's actually a downgrade in value. I think that you get a lot more for your money with the 12 year old than with the 18. And um, uh, that's that's too bad, I would say. Here in Korea, you can get the 12 year old for about 80,000 won. That's about 70, uh, what, 75 uh, uh, dollars American as high as 100,000 won. The 18-year-old, however, wait for this, 
230,000 won. That's what I paid. But it goes up to around about 350,000 won high street, for example, at um, department stores. So let's look at this. 80 to 230, that's a three triple. That's triple the price, basically. Um, 80 to 350, you're talking um, quadruple, quadruple the price. Um, at least three and a half times the price from 12 to 18. And uh, I just, I, I'm afraid I can't do that again. I will not buy another bottle of the current Macallan 18. And well, what can I say to you then? Should this be in your bar? I would say only if you are a Macallan nut. If you're a Macallan nut, go for it. That's what's available. It's available everywhere, uh, USA anyway, not Canada. Uh, you'll be able to find it. You might actually do better getting uh, older Macallans. See if you can find those in some shops. Um, I have a couple. I have an 89 and a 90. And uh, those will stay bunkered for some time long in the future. We'll see. Uh, apparently there's a big drop off in um, uh, flavor post vintage era for the Macallan 18 which I think uh, started sometime around 2014, if memory serves correct. All right, so 86 out of 100. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this whiskey. What do you think about Macallan 18? What about the 2017? Has anyone tried that one? Leave some tasting notes for me. I'd love to hear from you. And if, well, if someone tells me that the 2017 is uh, the be-all and the end-all to die for, I might reconsider my thoughts here. Anyway, 86 out of 100, a little bit sad about this one. I feel as though I wasted my money. To me, this is $150 whiskey, 130 US maybe even. That's what I'd like to see that at, not, not the price that I paid for that. Anyway, be that as it may, thank you for watching. Really appreciate that one. Now, I want to tell you a little bit also about uh, Patreon. That's open now, Whiskey Whistle on Patreon, patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. Uh, if you make a monthly commitment to Whiskey Whistle, uh, you'll get a monthly newsletter from me to your email. So uh, hopefully that's an enticement. Whiskey Whistle, uh, patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. Love to see you in there. I'll be adding some more content on the Patreon account as we go. Uh, some videos exclusively just for Patreon supporters. Anyway, so become part of Team Whiskey Whistle, all right? Okay, so Macallan 18, that was the review. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for 245. That is going to be a doozy. Okay, goodbye now. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.